Hello everyone, and welcome. Today's video will be an exciting first for me. I was approached by a few YouTuber pals of mine. Colin Lack. Tell me when I'm telling lies. And Mad Kaiser. <laughs> to participate in a bit of an unorthodox collaboration. We each have chosen a style for the, at the time of this recording, rumored Trails in the Sky remake. I'm here to make a case for the games being remade in HD2D, a style in the same vein as Triangle Strategy, or more recently, Star Ocean The Second Story R. First and foremost, in order to get to the main discussion, we have to ask ourselves an important question. Just what is HD2D? Well, it all started back in 2018, when Square Enix released a soon-to-be hit among gamers everywhere. This was a little title called Octopath Traveler, in which there were eight characters to choose from, all having their own unique story to experience. Hence the combination of Octo and Path. Fairly simple, right? Small segue here. Currently playing through this myself, and I uh, totally didn't pick the guy named Cyrus Albright as my first character. Just as I predicated. Now the true lesson begins! Okay, maybe I did. B can you blame me though? <laughs> Back to the topic at hand. HD2D. What exactly is it? Well, put simply, it's essentially applying a fresh coat of paint to more retro-style RPGs while attempting to modernize them slightly in hopes of appealing to an audience of both new and old-school gamers. They're graphically very similar to old school games such as Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy 1 through 6, while adding enhanced lighting effects, detailed 3D backgrounds, and beautiful 2D sprite work. 16 times the detail. One eternity later. At last, we're finally in the meat and potatoes of the video. Now, let's get down to business to defeat my collaborators. Okay, that sounded a lot better in my head. Hey, hey, funny guy! I got a joke for you! What smells rotten and puts people to sleep? Um, not just gas? No! Your act! <laughs> While I personally would love to see the Sky Trilogy remade in full 3D, it would make potentially inserting Liberal into future games a lot easier for Falcom. I do have to say, I would equally love if they went for the HD2D route, simply for the fact it would be the most faithful remaster in comparison to the original. Not much would need to be done, really. They could even reuse all the assets from the Crossbell games, which would significantly speed up dev time. Add some advanced lighting effects, maybe some detailed shadowing, update the old sprites, and voila! Très magnifique! Add in some quality of life features from Zero and Azure, like field attacks, a BGM display option, and the ability to freely toggle between graphical styles. Also throw in the EVO Japanese voices and the EVO OST on top for good measure, for those that desire the option. They could even add the cut version of Amber Amore back into the game. Wow, Cyrus, uh, how did he make all those different noises with that loot of his? Ah, well, Adel, my boy, that there is Olivier Lenheim, a legend among legends. For with the power of love at his side, he can accomplish anything. Oh, really? Wow, he sounds kind of cool. I'd like to meet him one day. Hey, maybe when we eventually do Let's Plays of the Sky games, I can introduce you to him. Oh, really? Cool. All right, Adol, let's let's get back into the script, shall we? As far as other things I'd like to see them do, maybe tweak the gameplay so it's a bit more balanced, especially in Sky First Chapter. Like I mentioned previously in my Sky Remaster community video, FC had a lot of issues with balancing the different arts, 
crafts being inferior to arts, especially the higher tier time arts. Once you unlocked those, they were really the only things you used, <laughs> because they were just that good. As well as certain status effects being super OP and all kinds of other smaller things that would need tweaking. But after imagining the Sky Trilogy like this, I feel like I'm ascending to Edios' arms. Oh hell no! Oh jeez! Could you imagine what the fight scenes would look like in this enhanced engine? They already looked great in the OG. With Falcom's better utilization of animations, camera work, overall impact, and flair that we've gotten teases of in Kai, they could make those moments feel even more special. As for cons, I can't honestly think of too many. You'd satisfy all the old fans by keeping the same overall style while catching the attention of the new HD 2D fans who discovered the joy of retro games thanks to Square Enix and their massive breakthrough into the gaming market. The only negatives I could think of would be possibly pushing away the fans who are more used to the 3D style that the newer Trails games have been improving upon since Cold Steel 1. It could definitely feel like taking a step back in terms of quality for those people. Having the Sky games in 3D would definitely serve to draw in that crowd, especially if the gameplay will be modeled after Daybreak with its hybrid action turn-based system. I could also see the game suffering a bit if they don't include some of the quality of life features I mentioned previously, specifically voice acting. I know plenty of people who won't even touch a game if it doesn't have at least some degree of voice acting. The original English release only had voice acting strictly for the battles, where the Japanese EVO version voiced all the story dialogue and even all the side quests. For a game series with more text than all three Lord of the Rings books combined, not having voice acting could serve as a huge detriment to someone's overall enjoyment, or even potentially sway them from buying the games in the first place. So, what do you think? Would you prefer to see the games remade in an HD 2D style? Make sure to check out Colin and Mad Kaiser's videos too. I'll have their links in the description. I can't wait to hear their thoughts and viewpoints on their chosen remake style, as well as all of you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks again, Colin and Mad Kaiser, for inviting me to this collab in the first place. It was a lot of fun getting to tackle something familiar to me, yet still slightly different than what I'm used to. I wish you all the best, and thanks to all of you at home watching. Feel free to leave a like on your way out, and subscribe to all of our channels if you haven't already. They both cover loads of interesting topics and deserve the support as well. Special thank you to all current channel members. If you want to support me in a more personal way, those links will be in the description too. Take care of yourselves, guys. I'll see you again soon. Peace out. All right, what's next?